Hello everyone and welcome back to Untamed Chaos. This is like the seventh time I've tried doing this intro. I'm having a hard time trying to record today, but I'm actually recording way in advance the day before episode 13 goes up, so I haven't got to see a lot of your guys' comments and such on the previous episodes, and I feel a bit annoyed about that. But even though I'm feeling a tad eh, my throat's just kind of dry, or my mouth's kind of dry, and my sinus is kind of eh, it still is a good day to record, and I want to try recording when I can, because like if I was to put this off tomorrow or a few days even, it might not work out, and then I'd have trouble trying to get the video done in time. So hopefully this will still be a good episode, but um, yeah, since last episode, I did uh, head back down to the mines. I uh, sorted out the lava thing, it actually was almost done by the time I got there. I have a couple drums of lava here now that I'm just storing here for the moment to decide where to what to do with them exactly. I only have one by the smeltery just so I have some there for the smeltery. Um, I did also uh, make some new energy cubes, a couple ultimate. There's actually a new ultimate at the other base by the portal, just so that has a bit more power, and I think that was the one that used to be at the portal. But, uh, yeah, I decided to, probably went a bit overboard and made a couple of these, just because they're a bit costly. And I also made a bunch more alloys, just because I wanted to have them on hand because I was running low. But in the process, I used up all the diamonds I had, which is a bit annoying. So, yeah, I'll need to do more mining off camera to try and get more diamonds again, but I did mine a lot more in the visible areas of the mine sort of thing, so, uh, I'm getting closer to at least making that all cleared out, I guess you could say, and I really do need to look into better methods of mining and getting diamonds than just the turtle thing I've been doing, but I also did, uh, work on the enemy system, you might have saw some of the stuff in here. But uh, let me just sleep real quick. Pretty much I figured out how to get it working. Just set up the very basic just to make sure I could get it working. Uh, I will need the Emmy controller later if I have more than eight parts. But currently it's just the terminal, the drive, a 1K drive, which is made like this. Sorry about that. I had to reach for the Walia uh, uh, recipe key here. And that's how you make the terminal. It's I could upgrade to make uh, the crafting terminal. But for the moment, this works, and the reason I didn't is because this needs pure service. I actually almost forgot I had some seeds left up there that just takes so long to grow without the crystal growth accelerators. And I needed this to actually get it working. Uh, yeah, that's the right key. It's just quartz glass, a fluix, and some iron, the power acceptor. So if I go in here, it's a working ME system. It can't hold much because it only has a 1K drive. But it's the very basic ME system, so now I can start working on building it from here, deciding what drives I want to use, and getting the other stuff like the crafting terminal. So, uh, yeah. And I really should try looking to rebind those Walia key binds for the recipes, because I use them a good bit. It's just awkward because they're my number pad, which is under my microphone, and neither of my hands can easily, easily reach over there and hit it. But uh, yeah, here's the crystals. If I pick them up, they were like 5% last I saw. Oh, 7%. They made progress. But yeah, they don't despawn, but they just take ages to grow. And that also probably shows how long I've been trying to do this intro, because, um, yeah. But um, besides that, I did go back to the Twilight Forest and explore a bit more, just trying to find where the maze was, because um, it was giving me a lot of trouble to find it. I actually explored, like, over half the uh, magic map before I found where one maze was, so good thing I did that off-camera. I also did head back to the hedge maze and collected all the loot from that just because I realized when I was editing the episode that there are probably a few things there I should have grabbed and I just didn't, like the cactus, although I did eventually find the cactus in the desert way over there. But still, it was something that, at my mind, I didn't think I'd need. And are any of these actually grown now? The center one almost looks grown. But yeah, I have collected this farm a few times. It just is annoying and I don't need the resources that much. And, um, oh, uh... One thing, I did prepare a bit more Batania stuff because I would like to work on it today. I made some endo flames, which are... Do I actually show that? Yeah, that's how you make them. And I also made the open crate because that's supposed to be used with them with uh, living wood planks, which are just made from living wood. Although the textures are so similar because it's dark and I can barely see them. Only knows how dark it is on YouTube's end. But, um, yeah. And besides that, uh, I think I did mention I'll need the Emmy controller if I have more than eight things. And I did also configure the cables uh, here using the configurer. Uh, just to do a quick demonstration. Uh, when I was saying about the redstone, that was meant for cables, pipes, and such. If I right-click, it will turn it on and off. I think it has redstone sensitivity on by default. And also, if I right-click, I was able to do this. So, uh, you see there how it is coming out like that. I can make it not connect. I can make it connect normal. I can make it push, which sends into it, or pull, which pulls out. So, I was able to set it so the power only comes out, I believe. So, uh, yeah, and I did consider upgrading these energy cells, but, um, or the energy cubes, sorry, I used the wrong term. But, uh, I decided since lava's right behind them, and 
I don't use these generators as much as these. It wasn't that big of a deal to make ultimate ones for the lava generators. So I decided to skip on it for now. But anyway, um, this episode I want to work more on some blood magic and thumbcraft and those kind of things. Because it's been a while since I did like a magic episode. And uh, yeah, so uh, give me one second. I'm so glad I'm finally done with that intro, and uh, just to comment on that real quick, let me know what you guys think of that whole little intro with the summary of stuff I did off camera. It's kind of the thing I don't want to not say all the stuff I did and then be like later in the episode, oh, by the way, I did this, but at the same time, I feel like it can slow down the videos. I know it's something I always had a bit of issues with, but uh, yeah, I prepared a bunch of stuff here for a bunch of sigils. I actually didn't have to make a couple. Like, this is one we're going to be making, but I already made it because it's used as another recipe, and apparently this isn't consumed in the crafting recipe which I didn't know uh, that's the furnace fuel that draws blood I believe so I have a couple of them when I only needed one but um let me just take all this out probably should not have that in my hand uh, that's probably safer to hold yes how about that I'm not sure if that's safer at all but pretty much I looked over all the sigils sigils oh, I still need to check how that's actually supposed to be pronounced uh, I could and now I want to make them so if I go like that of course it doesn't want to auto craft and my orb is in here. I'm not sure if any actually need orb. I don't think these are orb crafting, but I could be wrong. But um, I want to make the lava one because this is like the water. It provides an infinite lava source for like a thousand blood per lava and a loud vehicle just drove by. Sorry about that. But um, it uh, should be nice in case I ever need to generate lava. Although with all those drums full, it's probably not that big of a deal. So now I have the lava one, which is actually supposed to go there in my whole little sigil lineup and this should probably go down there i forgot i had two rows of um the sigil sigils ah words so we have lava the next one i want to make is um magnetism which is a pretty interesting one i did need the orb good and um it should attract items towards me i never used it before i really hope if i do use it now it doesn't want to crash on me so um yeah probably should test more of these so i have this here Okay, so that's how it works, and um, I probably should grab my divination signal just so uh, I keep forgetting where I put all this stuff. I had this on me because I phantom bridge all the time now, but um, I can't remember if I actually filled my blood back up anyway, so I don't know how long that... Uh, let's just see. Um, seems to drain like 50 every minute maybe. Or 30 seconds. I can't tell with blood magic. Uh, either way, it doesn't seem to be that huge of a drain. So that'll be nice for some basic magneti or magnetization. Uh, I'm just not good with words today. Sorry about that. I noticed in some videos I've been horrible with saying stuff and just constantly misspeak what I mean. I remember one episode a while back even coming in the description about, yeah, I just was totally out off today with all the things I was saying. But uh, let's see. Um, Ender. I hope this signal works. Sigil, ah, once again, I have no idea how to say that. I'm so sorry if I'm just butchering it every time. But, uh, I haven't tried this yet. Huh, it looks odd when you put an ender chest on an ender chest. But I haven't tried this one, but it should work since the update, and this will allow me to access my ender chest. Okay, and let's see how much blood that drains, because it's a used Sigil. I think it's probably going to be like a thousand. Uh, actually only looked like 200 blood, which is pretty easy. So I actually did make the ender chest off camera to make this, but it wasn't a big enough deal that I felt I should have saved it for on camera. And I don't really even need to place one down because I can just use the sigil for this now. So I don't know. It's one of those things. I'll decide if I want to put one in the base, but you can't move them out so touch. So I'm not sure if I really want to waste the ender pearls if I do like put one in the base here and then want to move it or something. So I think I'll just stick to the sigil for that for the moment. So the next one I actually want to make is uh, actually let's do holding because I have actually no idea how this one works. I think it's just meant to be a sickle carrying case. Once again, I don't know how to properly say the term. So um, huh? Oh, um, how do I get them out? Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, whoops, it's currently on Division Sigil, and I have no idea how to change them. So I think I'm not going to play with that anymore, because the other Sigil there, or Sigil, I think it's Sigil, 
Uh, the other sigil there is lava. So if I do accidentally change it between the other ones, um, it turns into a lava one. And I don't want to do that. So I might have possibly messed that up. I don't know. But for the moment, I'm just going to ignore it. Because, like I said, um, yeah, that could end poorly. Because, uh, let me just try and find the other one. Uh, there it is. And I do need to grab... Uh, my other lava sigil, because it used the one I was going to use for the crafting and the holding. So, um, yeah, I definitely have to test that off camera to make sure I did it right. <laughs> and, uh, elemental affinity. So, I'm pretty sure this is, uh, fall damage immunity, uh, fire breathing, and water breathing all in one. So, that should be a nice one. And the final one I saw is blood lamp. And I have no idea what this does. I'm kind of timid to actually try it on camera. Because I assume it just makes a light. I could be horribly, horribly wrong. Let's go somewhere that's not my blood room. Like here. Oh. Huh. That actually was kind of nice. So, um, let's see. Uh, how much life points? So that didn't use much at all. It just makes a little light. Huh. So maybe I'll use those as light sources over torches. I don't know. But it does seem kind of nice to have. So, um, yeah. I just wish I knew how to use the sigil of holding. Um, I don't know. Let's see if I can actually figure that out real quick. Let's go up here where hopefully nothing bad happens. And... Oh, God darn it. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. So, if I look in the air... Okay, so, if I look in the air and right-click... And it has, like, a grace period of one before I use it. So, if I change it, and I right-click, nothing happens, it just swing. Oh, it does actually work for that one. So, I look in the air, and I can change it. It's currently on... Oh, god darn it, all the sigils are in there now. <laughs> So now it's on Elemental Affinity. If I do that, I get the effects. Uh, I was right about which effects they were. Turn that off. I change it. I just don't know how to get them out. Because I'm not sure if I want them all in there. So, um... Huh. But we're back on, uh... Yeah, Divination for the moment. So, uh, I probably should get a... Bu uh, do I have buckets? Yes, I did keep buckets in here. I probably should get a bucket just so... Uh, the Lava Source Block does not flow that I'm aware of from the Sigil. Sigil? Sigil! Right. I agree, that's how I'm gonna say it. So, uh, yeah, but I have the one bucket here that pipes into the Smeltery, and I don't think I had anything different in the Smeltery, nope. Uh... So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to keep this on me for the moment, because, uh... It has my divination sickle in there. So, um... Well. Okay, so the next thing I want to work on is more Batania. Once again, I'm not sure the proper way to pronounce that word. But, uh, we left off on a functioning floor. I actually had to run back through the tutorial to get to this part. But, uh, yeah. So, functioning floor, use mana. Uh, they drain by nearby mana pools. And they can't receive power directly through spreaders. Uh... They have a small buffer of mana. I can get the reading with the Wand of the Forest. Uh, it memorizes what mana pool it pulls from. Nearby mana pool, whichever came first. Uh, a redstone root in their creation has a redstone toggle. That's how you make a redstone root. And uh, now it shows me back here, basic mechanics. The runic altar. I did actually read through the tutorial to see how much longer it was. And like I said, I just kind of skimmed this. I probably should go back and read the entries in more detail, but... um. Well, I didn't. So, uh, the runic altar uses mana, and it makes runes, and oh my god, this is actually 22 pages. I hope most of the recipes. Um, so yeah, runes, uh, utilize, start by right-clicking, tossing the components, yada yada yada, uh, mana spreader for power, wand of forest, right-click, um, when that happens, drop, and it will use... I think it makes them from Living Rock. That's how you make it Mana Pearl or Mana Diamond. Uh darn, I wish I had diamonds now. And, uh, yeah, so that's how you make the Runic Altar. Uh, 16 different runes exist. There's four seasons, uh, four elements, seven deadly sins, and a rune of mana. I'm not sure how the runes are actually used. Uh, there's a comparator function for it. 
And now it's going to go over all the different rune recipes. They don't really say what the runes do here, but I'll have to look into it. They probably are used for other crafting, I assume. But there's a lot of different runes. Okay, so now we head back out. Uh, baubles. This is actually the thing I'm really looking forward to from Botania. Because there's a lot of really cool baubles. And... This and Thomcraft are the main two sources of them at the moment that I'm aware of, and the Botania ones seem much better. So, um, baubles are trinkets. Uh, I've actually go here. This is where you put baubles. I don't have any at the moment, but, uh, yeah, that's just going over where you can find them. You have an amulet, two rings, and a belt. And, uh, yeah, Thomcraft also has baubles. And, uh, the mana tablet, uh, I think this is kind of like the energy tablet from, um, Mechanism, actually, where it will store mana on the tablet itself that can be used to charge items that draw mana, I believe. Like I said, I don't know much about Batania, and, uh, apparently it doesn't, uh, despawn when dropped on the floor, that's how you make it. Also with a mana diamond or mana pearl. Okay, so if we uh, continue here, mystical items. Ah, mana steel. I know a bit about this, and I actually put mana steel on a lot of chests. I think it was in some by default, and I just kind of played up on it more. Kind of like Thomgrass has Thomium. This has mana steel. It's kind of like iron, but it's uh, better durability and enchantability. It's made from mana, and it'll recharge with mana, including stuff like mana tablets. Uh, the pickaxe uh, has the ability right click to place a torch, kind of like the tinkerer's tools. The axe does it for saplings, and the shovel will hold earth, or hold earth, a hoe earth or dirt like a hoe. Uh, the shears uh, will trigger trip wires, but that's how you make these mana steel tools. And there's a sword as well, and an armor set. And the armor set um, does have a set effect of reducing the mana cost. Although I kind of like my current setup, so I'm not sure if I ever really use an armor set. Because if you look here, I mean, having the mix and match, and that did fully repair, by the way. But having the mix and match is kind of nice. And I haven't been using the diamond leg just because I don't want them degrading when I'm not using them because they're so costly to repair. And uh, dispenser tweaks. Um, okay, this is the end of the tutorial, but it talks about how the dispenser was tweaked. So it actually plants uh, the normal crops now and a few other things like that. And that's the end of the tutorial. There's a lot of other things in Batania though. And pretty much I just have to look over the book and see what I can find. But I'm really interested in the baubles. And I know this is kind of like um, counterproductive to the sigil I just made. But um, yeah, I really would like to make... Um, okay, uh, this... Um, I think, yeah, it's five second delay between tossing an item and the magnetism, but it's just mana steel and a man or a mana legs magnetism. And if I shift click to look at the recipe, this is just a mana lens, iron and gold. And this is just mana steel around glass. So it seems pretty easy to make. I just need mana steel. And um, uh, this has been charging. It's just very slow. I think what actually is happening, I think I did kind of say this before, but this bar builds up, and when this bar charges, I think to um, the first little nub there, one-fourth the way, it sends the mana burst. So that's not actually how much mana it has, that's the timer for it to send more mana. So that might be what's going on, I'm not positive. Like I said, I don't really know what's up with this, but it charges very slowly, probably because my mana generation is very bad. So do I have any mana steel? I do. But Mana Steel is just iron, so I want to use all the Mana Steel I have, and oh, that reminds me, I need to get out the gold, and I think I have, okay, so we should be able to make that, unless it requires a special block, I'm not positive, but according to the recipes, it doesn't look like it, so I look here, I can just go, I missed, that's embarrassing. Okay, so I have all that, and did that even drain much mana? Just a little. Oh god! How did I miss him? I really hate those guys because the water they throw will break torches and mess up things like that. Not so much because they're actually hard and oh. Oh, that reminds me. This is in here because it's about to level. So, um, could I level on a Janku? Yes! And also not yes, but uh, uh, yeah, actually last episode was really close to a level and I was killing some slimes off camera I noticed how close it was getting so I was like, oh better save it so we can see the random modifier on camera Unfortunately, it was Bane of Anthropods Arthropods. Why do I call it Anthropods? There's no N But uh, yeah, Arthropods. So 
At least we have better protection against Spider, which actually isn't bad considering there's a whole dimension full of bugs. So, um, actually I don't really want to put that in there. So, now we go here, let's see if we can make these items. I still have my page set to single. Okay, mana lens. Yep, oh, and that was the mana pulse. Okay. And I actually forget the shape. Was it that? Wow, that was easy to make. So, um, now if I just put this here. And now if I drop something, let's just drop this iron. It should delay five seconds and then around five seconds and pull to me and actually won't pull these items, the uh, quartz seeds, because that was a special like exception made with the mod, I believe, because these aren't supposed to be pulled. So we check on these. <sighs> Still gonna take ages. So um, we did make our first bobble of Botania, which is really the first thing we've done with the mod. So I actually wanna look over the bobbles and see if there's any other ones we can make easily, just because they're really nice. Okay, so I took some time to look through the book here, and it seems that most of the other stuff requires rooms, like I kind of expected. So, uh, this one allows you to swim faster. Needs a rune of water, which needs the altar, which I can't really make yet because it needs a diamond or mana pearl, and I'm not sure. Let me actually see how many ender pearls I have. I just feel kind of e about that because I guess I can. I don't know. Let me actually look at the rune recipes and make sure they don't need... Yeah, I guess I could. It's just, I'm kind of iffy about using my ender pearls because I know lots of things need ender pearls and I do not have a good supply. So I think I'd rather actually just wait on that and make the altar off camera. And next time I do uh, Botania stuff, I can definitely use that or make the altar and work on that stuff and make sure I have everything ready. And uh, yeah, in general, I was just looking over a lot of this stuff or I was just looking over it, not really in general. And, um, there's some really cool stuff. The Snowflake Pendant is actually my favorite one so far because, um, it turns stuff to ice that melts, which reminds me of the freezer right from, um, Falling Meteors. And how I use an Ascension. I need a few runes for that, Water and Winter. But besides that, it does not look that complex, although... Looking at it, that looks kind of complex, so the cake will actually probably be the hard part there. So, um, there are a good bit of stuff I would need to work on, but one thing I do want to try, actually, is seeing if I could set up a new mana source with these flowers here. Because I have no idea how exactly to do that, but, um, I think I just want to do, like, a test area here, because these... Actually, I don't need to use the formation like that for anything but day balloons. Uh... I can just give him a bit of space because why not? So just to check, um, oh, I actually said it all the right way. So um, that's just a uh, bind mode, right click and bind. So it's now facing that right click and bind. So now I check, there should be no mana in any of this and these consume combustible things. What did it say exactly? Uh, let's head back in here. Uh, generating floor, endo flame. Um, it's a good way to generate mana. It will absorb any combustible items or block drive nearby. Only one at a time, though, and burn through them while the fuel lasts. So, um, yeah, and the open crate, I actually don't know how to use that exactly. Um, I actually want to try some. Do I have a hopper? Because I think I might need to pipe into the crate, as silly as that sounds, but, um, I have a fair bit of coal, so I think this might work. Actually, come to think of it, I think this might be like uh, the basic coal generator version of Botania. Not sure if I should be calling it that, but that's kind of what it feels like at the moment. So, um, if I just uh, put this here, I have no idea which side's the opening, but I can't right-click it. So, okay. So, I assume this is how it will go. There's the opening. So, if I just put uh, that in there, it drops down and... Dropped into my inventory because I have a ring of magnetism. Great. Um, so I put that there. I think it might... Oh! I was going to say, I think it might actually need... Um, huh. So, if I just put in this whole stack, what happens? Hmm. It seems to only really be using the one endo flame. It seems to be dropping them faster than it can burn. But let's see how fast this is accumulating mana. 
it's hard to tell because this is actually burning fuel unlike my day bloom setup but um yeah i dropped it a bit too fast so i think i do need to look into this more off camera uh, oh now they both seem to be burning it but uh can i actually see if the mana go up in here or does it transfer instantly i think it's transferring it instantly but um I don't know, it seems like it's uh, doing a pretty good job. Uh, I think I'll pick that up now. So it actually didn't use that much, but, um, so that's how the open crate and the end of flames work. At least we know that now, and, um, yeah, so, sorry, uh, I kind of lost my train of thought there and forgot what I was saying, but uh, I think I'm not going to do any more Botania stuff this episode. I think we did make a decent bit of progress, at least we got this, uh, pretty cool ring, and I looked over the bobble stuff and tried a new way of generating mana, but uh, at the moment, uh, I really just need to look more into the mod and, you know, ask around, try different things and see what I want to do because there's a lot of stuff here. But besides the bobbles, I don't really even know what to try working on or how to progress with the mod. And there's just a lot of flowers that do different things, a lot of ways to generate mana and a lot of different things here like mana tablets and all this stuff that I'm not that knowledgeable at and I don't just want or I don't want to just try messing around with it all on camera right now so I think I'm going to leave it there I'll look into it so next time we go back to Botania hopefully I'll have an idea of what I'm doing and won't just be randomly trying different things but at least we got a ring and I know to work towards the runic altar I just need to make sure I have more diamonds because like I said I don't want to use the ender pearls because of how useful ender pearls are so uh the next thing I want to do is thumbcraft actually and I do not have the thumbnomicon in here so uh actually let me just uh, throw away this stuff real quick and that's the wrong chest ha <sighs> Okay, so Thumbcraft, and um, I kind of have a similar problem to Botania here, where I did unlock a lot of the aspects, I'm still missing some, I know, because the book even tells me I'm missing some, but there's just so much stuff here between Thumbcraft and its add-ons, I'm not sure what I really want to work on, because there's, yeah, the note tapping, I'm missing an aspect, um... Besides that, there's a lot of things just to kind of read over. I don't need the research expertise because I don't have the research little mini game. I have it set to where instead of, you know, putting a research scroll in here and playing the little mini game to unlock it, I could just go through and just uh, click to purchase the things. So I don't know. There's a lot of different things to look into and I mean, the different wand cores, for example, and I know the whole stuff about the Alembic and burning down aspects, but I'm not that knowledgeable on how it... Oh, Okay, yeah, this stuff. Um, the basic alchemy, uh, I kind of had the gist of it. Can we get to the page? Um, get a cauldron, hit it with a wand. It becomes a crucible. I throw stuff in there to get aspects. I don't know half of this stuff, so kind of like a Batani, I really need to probably look into this more. Uh, I know this and the arcane Alembic. Uh, the Alembic's over there, I think. So, uh, Nitor and a Lumite. I know this is like a cosmetic glowstone floaty thing. And I think this explodes. Yeah, I, th I think it does. I tested on a test roll. I think you throw it and it explodes. So it's not good to mix those two up. And uh, the distillery. Uh, is this the Alembic or Alchemetic Furnace? Oh, and I got a whole bunch of research there. Um, this filter. The Alembic. Um, pretty much how I know is that you burn stuff in the furnace, it will send its aspects into the Alembic, then you can send that into water jars, which I just got as well, which will hold the different aspects, and then from there you can draw on the different aspects, uh, the void draw, I think that's actually from an add-on. I just want to be careful of how much I spend, because, uh, I will run out. Uh, I do want to get Thaumium, though. Because I know this is a pretty cool thing. Iron, you just throw in a crucible with uh, Percantatio. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it makes a lot of cool items, but it's mainly useful in Tinkers, I know. But I also know these items can be upgraded. I just don't have the necessary stuff unlocked. So, um, this is another thing. Uh, this and Botania, if you have any suggestions for what I should work on, let me know. Because, like I said, that stuff I need to look into more. I'll ask friends and look online at guides to see what I want to try. But, um... Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do... Oh god, this just got really complex. I don't know all the piping stuff for magic, but I thought it was a good idea to unlock these. So, um, yeah, this is stuff I don't want to read through all on camera. I'd rather, like, research it off camera, and then when I revisit an episode, just summarize what I learned. But I do want the goggle... Oh, I don't have the aspect. I wish I knew what that was, because this lets you see the aura nodes. I'll need to tap with my wand to do different things and stuff and... Huh... And 
I could have sworn that's used for something important. Uh, bow stuff, I think. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff, and I also do have a fair bit of Thomcraft add-ons, so... I might not know what's base Thomcraft and what's add-ons even. I don't want to delve into golems yet. Automage is like the redstone automation Thomcraft stuff. So I think I should avoid it for the moment. Um, Tinker. I know that's a very popular add-on. that adds a lot of really high-end stuff later game. Uh, I actually forget what this one is. Uh, this is Forbidden Magic, I think. And this stuff doesn't really matter because we don't need the scribing tools. Although I think there is other stuff I could unlock, but I probably don't have the rest of necessary research. There is an AE add-on for Thomcraft, which is pretty interesting, but I don't have the AE system yet or the basic Thomcraft aspects, so I don't want to delve into that. Um, uh, Horizons, I know that has a lot of cool stuff, and another one bites the dust has some stuff on it. So, I don't know, I guess for the moment I might want to try learning the alchemy stuff, because that seems a bit more simple. Because, like, the metal purification and transmutation... But I also know uh, the wand caps. Ooh, I know there's a lot of different things of wands changing the different caps and getting different effects. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I just don't want to spend stuff and then not have it. So, oh, wand foci. Uh, wand focus, equal trade, shock. This is actually one I want to make because I've seen it used before and it looks really cool even if it's not powerful. So, I think I'm going to unlock that. And... Really? That's how you make the shock one? A potato, quartz, and... Hold on, let me try something. <laughs> okay, so I fully expect that this will fail because I don't have all the stuff needed, in a sense. Uh, I don't have the stuff in my wand is actually the problem. I don't know where any nodes are to charge it, and I have the lowest tier wand. But this just seems so easy for what I was kind of expecting from a lightning ability. At least I think that's it. So I put this here. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I don't have the vis needed, but I could make it if I did. So, um, I don't know. That actually seems like something I would like to work towards. So I think I do need to look into the alchemy stuff and the wand stuff. And I know that and different things to make better wands. And I don't know, could I actually make a better wand right off the bat? Uh, let's see. Uh, great wood. I'm just worried about running out. Um, that requires more research. Copper and gold. I know some of these require higher things. Uh, more efficient than gold when channeling. I can't read that. And uh, Praditovis. Uh, gold is a higher tier one. Um, that's how you make the wand core. Uh, I just don't know. Actually, let me just uh, look up wand real quick. I feel like this episode is starting to run on longer now. But um, I know there's a lot of different caps and wands so this is how i'd make that so a gold cap gold rod on a work table with that vis so either way i need to charge my current wand but this will let me get better wands that could hold more vis to craft more things and do more things because the spells will also use vis so um and let's just see uh yeah these are just arcane work tables so i do need vis to even start this that's the only one that's a normal crafting so uh and the great wood wand cord so okay so pretty much my goal is i need to do two things one just research in general two figure out how in the world i make these goggles i just don't know what aspect i'm missing because once i get them i can see the ore nodes more easily i also can see them if i look through at this but um I just don't know where any are. If you actually do know where any are, like you saw them when I was flying around or such, and could recognize there's an ore node hidden there, let me know in the comments so I could try and hunt them down better. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so I was just about to end the episode, and I looked around, and... What's that? <laughs> I think I might have actually remembered this was here. Okay, uh, you can't see because the face scan's blocking. I'll probably remove it just to show you right now. But uh, it's filling up my little aspects there from the ore node. And I think I'm not supposed to let this deplete all the way. So one aqua... Oops. Um, I think because I depleted the aqua now, it won't give more. But I do have a bunch of aspects now. I'm just not sure if I can actually use these aspects. But I did find an ore node, which I found kind of funny because I completely forgot that was there. And... Um, yeah, so let's go back to uh, this and um, Air, Ordo, and Perdito. I have Aqua, Terra, or Air, 
Terra and Aqua. So I'm missing the two I need for that. Um, how about this? Igneous I don't have, or Ordo. Ordo and Igneous. And I don't have uh, Predito. So I don't have any of the Vis I need yet. Ha. <sighs> Figures, there's six vis and I get pretty much the three I don't need. So, um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to end this episode here because I feel like it's uh, been long enough of me just looking around at different magic stuff. But uh, I kind of have been alternating between mods. Like, uh, it kind of seems like I did a tech episode, a magic episode, and next episode will probably be a more explory Twilight Forest stuff. I don't know, just because I do want to get back to working on that. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think of how I'm structuring these episodes. And... Once again, if you have any suggestions for what I should do with Botania, Thongcraft, or even Blood Magic, I kind of don't know where to go in Blood Magic as well. Because I know to get the next tier orb, or next tier altar, I think I need a Blood Shard, which means I need to make a Bound Sword, which means I need to do the Binding Ritual, and I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I just know that's kind of what I need to work towards. So, uh, yeah, but that is stuff I will be working on. And I will look more into the magic stuff on my own, but if you do have any suggestions of things I should try, or if you remember where I have any aura notes, let me know down in the comments. And hopefully next episode won't be um so far in the advanced pre-recorded, so I actually get to see those comments. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully you enjoy this episode. Until next time, goodbye.